So a few weeks ago, I showed you how to play seven chords everywhere on the fretboard. I want to do the same thing today for arpeggios. Uh, when, I when I talk about uh, these structures like chords, scales, modes, arpeggios, I tend to see them all together. So if I have, let's say, let's assume I have C major as a one, I think about the chord. This is just one of the possible voicings. I think about the scale and I think about the arpeggio. I can do it in two octaves or I can then think about a phrase that goes over that. Okay, so these, these elements are all connected for me visually and, and orally, meaning that I can hear when I play a chord, I can, you know, imagine where the arpeggio falls and where, you know, a, a phrase and the, and the mode could be. Uh, this is true if I play that major seven down here. I can play the arpeggio and I can play a, scale, a phrase. Same thing if I played it down here. There are three main set of strings that I use, basically the, um, the low set of string where the root is on the E string, the middle set of string where the root is on the A string, and the top set of strings where the root is on the uh, D string. Obviously these are just some options, not all the options, but these should, just like the main, the seven chords, they should get you going. This page that I'm gonna uh, overlay is available in a bigger format. If you struggle to see this, let's say through a mobile phone, you can download it on my uh, website and I'll put a link and a pinned comment and it should be on a card as well. So don't learn things in isolation, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't just learn a, co a chord shape or a scale shape or an arpeggio try to connect them again visually uh, or in terms of the sound that they make. So the arpeggios are on this page. Let's learn them now. As you can see, I have divided them in uh, three string sets, the 6-4, 5-3, and 4-2. So let's start from the lower one. And again, you can connect them to the chords or the harmonized scale in, in each key, so to speak. So let's start from the first one, G major 7. A minor 7, B minor 7, C major 7, D7, E minor 7, and then F, uh, F up diminished. So these are the one octave 7 arpeggios on the low set. Let's go to the middle set. C major 7, obviously we're in a different key now. D minor 7. E minor 7, F major 7, G7, A minor 7, and then I have B up diminished, minus 7, flat 5. Let's look at the last set. So I'm uh, now in F, G minus 7, A minus 7, B major 7, dominant, Minor again, and then minus seven flat five. And as I said, these are just some of the the options you could play this in many other thing with other fingerings, so to speak. So the reason why I teach arpeggios this way is because I want you to connect them to chords. So let's say I will play the arpeggios at the top, and I will have a little track that goes along to each chord. Okay, so you can see that I have connected each chord with an arpeggio. The second thing is that you will notice that there are, you know, each arpeggio has a, has a particular fingering, as a shape that is common to that species of uh, chord. So let's have seventh. So if I'll have, I will have G major seven and C major seven are the same fingering, the same shape. All the minor seven are the same shape. Same thing on the other sets. The major 7 are the same shape and the minor 7 are the same shape and so on. So the first thing you have to do obviously is try to 
uh, transpose these, try to transpose these and use them in whichever set you feel is best. So if I start, let's say from C here, I will start with the, obviously the lower set. Then we'll have F, and we'll have the, the next set. Then I will have B flat, I'll go back to, I can maybe just use the higher one. And so on. So now that I have learned the arpeggios uh, connected to chords, I also want to put them into practice. So let's see them in a standard, what I can do to connect them. So we have the standard now in front of us. I'm pretty sure you recognize it, it's just a page from the real book. And uh, we have a bunch of chords. And obviously the first thing you can do is just to literally spell out the ar arpeggios you've learned them. So I'm gonna, the first step obviously is to find the root of each chord and try to find one next to each other. Uh, the, no roots that are close to each other. So E, A, and D. And then I'm gonna play E minus seven, A seven, and D major seven. Of course I can then spell out the rest of the tune. D, G, C major seven, C minus seven, F seven, E major seven, E flat major seven, E minus seven again, A seven, D major seven, and then. So obviously this is, doesn't sound like improvisation, but this is just to give you a framework of where chord tones live, so to speak. So if I start to visualize where things are on the guitar and I start to hear really these chord tones, the next step is to just use um, these notes to, uh, you know, to identify what the strong notes are, basically. Yeah, now we have identified where the core tones are, the strong notes are, so we can use them in context. I'm going to show you two examples, one where I just literally spell out the arpeggio as we've seen them, and the next one where I just use some rhythms to create basically melodies out of those notes and to just play them so that I always know where the strong notes are. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. So the first chorus I played pretty much only notes that were from the arpeggios, and the last chorus I added some, you know, some notes for the kill, from the kill the moment, so you know, from from the mode. So again, try to not learn these things in isolation. Hope this made sense. And uh, again, if you have some questions, please uh, in the comments. Thank you so much. Okay, I just wanted to remind everybody, as I've seen, there have been quite a few subscribers in the last couple of months. There are some freebies that you can download from my website, some templates and tracks and stuff like that. So first one, when you sign up to my mailing list, don't worry, I've rarely sent anything out. I will not spam you. The first one is a Guitar Kid Lite. This is a smaller version of a bit of bigger product that I will show you to get out to get later. Basically, just a bunch of templates that are quite useful for guitarists, teachers, and just if you're learning guitar. So, you know, chord charts, uh, seventh chords, pentatonic shape, the five shapes, major scale, three note per strings. There are a bunch of things, uh, something to do with modes. And obviously, there's a link to the bigger product with all the templates that you can get in that. That's for sale, like all my other instructional things that I've made, uh, you know, and they're all digital downloads. The shop page here, you can see there's a shop page with 
bundle deals. You can get uh, four books with uh, MP3 example. This is basically all you get right there. And obviously you can read about them in the rest of the page and you can buy them individually in the rest of the page. You know, when I used to sell them individually, which I still do, it's roughly $150. You can get them from a donation of about 15 minimum. And you can just pick, you know, depending on how you, you know, how much value you feel you've got from my, uh, from my videos, from my lessons. To get the, the freebie, so to speak, all you have to do is to uh, sign up for my mailing list, as I said. So how do you do that? You just click to any of these lessons. There are tons there on that page. You will see you get a lesson. There is a my music to listen to on Spotify. There is, again, that donate and download link to the bundle. And here we go. At the bottom of the page, you can sign up here, subscribe. You will get, obviously, you will have to confirm your email first. And then in the second email, you will get the, the download link. And in this uh, little zip file, you will get what I just showed you, the guitar kit, plus one track from my uh, latest album, which is now about five years old, six years old. One track from my previous album, which is about 10 years old. And then one backing track. Uh, obviously, my albums are free on Spotify. So you can check that, that out as well. All the links down in the description. So again, once you sign up, you get a, a confirmation email and then you will get the link to all the templates. Thank you again for your support. Please subscribe. If, if, if you're new to the, my channel, please subscribe and check out all the links and the pinned comment. There's always stuff there. All right, take care. Thank you again.